Today I'm going to be focusing on back brace. Back brace is something that's really important when singing about. Basically, because your voice is really small, you need to support it by using your whole body. That is why sometimes when singers sing, instead of belting like this, they already get down into it and feel their weight. It's definitely really important, and I'm doing this, I'm belting in, I think, two of my songs, which is Titanium and Stand By Me. So, I'm just going to focus on getting that feeling correct. So, the first thing I'm going to do is Silent Cheer. Silent Cheer is you like this, and then you can really feel the back brace. Obviously, you can't always go like this when singing, but it's a good way to start to learn the feeling of back brace. So, I'm just going to Silent Cheer. So I can really feel the back brace, obviously, across my back. So what my plan is, is trying to get that feeling without going like this. So one way of doing it is like this. That's a good way to do it because it feels like you're going into it. So I'm going to sing And Darling Darling Stand By Me by Benny King. And I'm going to do it like this. Then I'm going to do it like this. And hopefully there shouldn't, there shouldn't sound a difference. And darling, darling, stand by me. And then I'm going to do it without a back brace, just so you can hear the difference of the back brace. And darling, darling, stand by me. As you can hear, this is so much more supported. It's a clearer sound, and it just sounds overall much better. Then I'm going to try like this. And darling, darling, stand by me. See, to me, I think this one's sound better, which means I'm not engaging my back brace properly, which may mean I need to add some neck brace. Neck brace is like where you can, you never do it so you push against your head like that. It's a feeling you get there. And it's just opening you up a bit more, and it's just, it just makes it a lot easier to sing, and it's supporting your voice a lot more and it will stop it from getting damaged. So I'm gonna try it like this and see if I get the same feeling. And darling, darling, stand by me. I think that sounded a lot more clearer and smoother. So I'm gonna try doing that without pushing against my head. So I to do it, it's in a smile because you kind of get the same feeling. And also a good thing about inner smile is that if you're nervous, you can just kind of smile away and hope to get another shakes in your voice. And darling, darling, stand by me. I can hear much difference there, but that's the sort of thing that I'm going to have to watch the video through and see where I went wrong. So the whole point of this video is that you need to engage your back brace to be able to belt clearly and safely because at the end of the day the belt is pushing your voice and you don't want to damage it in any sort of way so supporting it is very very important and it can be done in many ways like for example if you're in like a choir it's like that that gets the back brace going and also using weights which I have here that can engage it and also somewhere I have a band that you can pull up on when you need support so it's just getting the feeling of belt, it's, to get, no, it's getting the feeling of the back brace as you sing without holding a weight. Or, so it's just, it's understanding the feeling you should get whilst you're singing and then incorporating it into your everyday performance. So neck brace is a really good one to do because you can do it whilst just kind of standing there. And it's a thing you should always be feeling when you're singing because you don't want to damage your voice. So that's it for back brace and neck brace. I didn't click end.